Good morning. Happy Monday. Welcome into Studio 814. I'm Rebecca Bender. I'm Morgan Cozier. Coming off the weekend. <laughs> we were just reminiscing because Saturday night we went out with reporter Leanna Wells and anchor Alyssa Royster. So we went to a great event that, um, you know, was benefiting bikers and first responders and things like that. So yeah. that was really neat. At the Altoona Grand. At the Altoona Grand. And uh, we do have some photos. Oh, that was later. Yeah, this was later <laughs> that night. Oh, I thought we had some pics of the girls. We do. Okay, Look, there we are. Yes, we had so much fun. But when we were at the Altoona Grand, See, there we are. There we were. Um, dressed to the nines. It yeah. was nice to you know, be out and about. We've had our holiday parties there. So there's two different sides where you can have an event. <laughs> And um, if you can guess, there was a wedding. We did end up going to a wedding. And reception. Do you see how Leanna's holding a sign that says Wedding Crasher? Because we did make some friends and they said, oh, there's only like 30 minutes left. Just come on in. So we went on the dance floor and we wanted to say congratulations to Emily and Joshua Mayer. So Emily is actually a before and after school teacher at the Blair Regional YMCA. And she embraced us with open arms. She so, was a great bride. But you were just reminiscing, so you were on the dance floor, and what happened? Oh, because they had the music bopping, and we wanted to go and dance. And so I was so afraid to look anybody in the <laughs> eye until I saw the bride, and she was like, so, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> and that was our plan. If she asked, we would say we knew Josh. If Josh asked, we would say we knew Emily. That's, you have to have a plan. We did. But we made sure that it was kind of like towards the end. There was probably only like a, yeah. you know, it was fizzling down. But the fact that we got her in the photo booth, I know. Hey, that, that was, was a cool, cool moment. And then, of course, we love the Blair Regional Y, so a lot of people recognized us. Yeah, like, it was just a blast. What are you doing here? And we said, and I said, I've known <laughs> Emily for years. <laughs> yeah, funny it was ass. a little edgy, but you know what? It made for a great story, yeah. and I think we didn't disturb too much. It we took just a while added to the dance floor to uh, work up the courage. Yeah, we were a little nervous to go but, in. Yeah, and then we even went out, if you can believe it, to Kryptonite. Yeah, <laughs> which was Altoona's finest dance club. <laughs> Hey, basically, we got to request almost every song we wanted, and I don't know if people realize, like, Alyssa's an amazing dancer. Yeah. So she was teaching me, like, all these different you know, dances. And then we also saw some people you know. Yeah, uh, who I had met at a wedding that I was invited to years ago, who actually <laughs> break dance. Take a look. <laughs> We got another one. Um, I, th I think it's um, Vapor J. That's his his break dance, her, his break name, his solo uh, performance. Okay, this is amazing. Take a look. I love when, did you, he actually did do that motion where you're kind of leaning on your yeah. head. That's yeah. cool. I love that they were both wearing white, like, and they were doing a lot of moves together in sync, so you could, yeah. you know, I love their names too. I know. Vapor J and Jimmy Jam. Yeah. Hey, if you see them out, they do, they say like, as long as they feel the beat, they're ready to go. I saw him. I was like, you better dance. <laughs> you better dance. <laughs> Only took a little bit of Missy Elliott. I know. It was knew? a great time. Hey, there's always a lot to do here in the 814. Speaking of that,